We're on the USS George H.W. Bush. Uh, we're underway at sea, helping to prove the capability of the T-1 prototype of MQ-25. Right now, the, the plan is to have it become an integrated tanker, one that's gonna provide the ability to alleviate the tanking duty that is being put on uh, the F-18. We've proven that we can tank the uh, assets that the Navy wants us to tank so that we can be uh, operational on the carrier. We're calling this the Unmanned Carrier Aviation Demonstration to look at how the MQ operates on the flight deck, both for propulsion testing and our human factors evaluation. This is a historic moment for the Navy and for the Boeing Company because this is the first evaluation that we're making of this vehicle's ability to operate with the fleet. To drive the MQ-25, we have a unit that actually is mounted on a belt and then it also has a display that mounts to your right arm as well as a control unit that we also hold in our right hand that has a joystick. And they always say if you have a job you like, you never work a day in your life and so far that's been the case. Well, there's a deeper meaning to the veterans on this team because we've done it. We've been there and uh, we know that eventually when MQ-25 goes out to the fleet, there's going to be people to go in harm's way to put this aircraft in harm's way. So uh, we want to have a thoroughly vetted aircraft. It's really cool to give back to the Navy all the experience and exposure that they gave me. This is cutting edge technology. When you come and look at the actual vehicle and you're like, this is exciting. You know, it, it brings that enthusiasm of when you're a kid. It's a, a bright spot to be able to be a part of a team like this that's able to do something on the leading edge of what's to come for, for the Boeing Company and for the Navy.